Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com. Now, a lot of you pointed out when I reviewed John Wilson's Sinfonia of London recent recording of the Talus Fantasia and other goodies on Chandos that he had done a prior disc of English music for strings. Here it is, featuring music by Britton Blissbridge and Barclay. And it was very good. And indeed, it is very good for the most part. I don't think it's quite as good as the second release, the one that I reviewed more recently with the Von Williams Talis Fantasia and other goodies and the Elgar introduction and Allegra and stuff like that, but it's quite good. And I really hope this series continues because we need, for example, a really fabulous first rate recording of the Tippett Concerto for Double String Orchestra. That would just be splendid. And there are other Howells works for strings in addition to the one on that prior disc. I mean, there's there's a lot of English music for string orchestra and a lot of music by other people. And that seems to be something that John Wilson does quite well. You know, I've said previously in my trashing of some of his other recordings that I have no idea what he's good at, what he really likes, what gets his blood boiling. I, I, you know, I, because he's done lots of film music stuff, um, you know, he's he, he's been promoted as someone who specializes in big, gaudy blockbuster repertoire. But frankly, I have not been impressed by his big, gaudy blockbuster repertoire. The orchestra is not really that great for that stuff, and he seems to just be in a rush most of the time to get through it as quickly as possible. And that is an issue because, I mean, you can hear that a little bit here. For example, in the in the Frank Bridge variations, which are really very well done, I mean, in the aria italiana, you know, for the soprano, I mean, he just races through it at much, much, a much quicker tempo than any faux soprano could ever manage. Now, part of that is, is, is it's a parody. So yes, it's supposed to be kind of manic. There's no question about it. But Britton himself in his recording sort of shows you how it ought to be done, particularly with the, the gutsiness of the accompaniment, the strumming guitar pizzicati, and then the way that the strings bite into the trills. You know, that's, that's all kind of underplayed here in an attempt to be, to be hasty. But aside from that, really, this is mostly wonderful stuff. And you get some really, really beautiful other rarities. For example, well, you get the Frank Bridge Lament for String Orchestra, which, you know, we all know. We could probably sing it in our sleep. Um, you get Sir Lennox Barclay, the Serenade for Strings, Opus 12 in four movements, a lovely and extremely unknown work. So that's very nice. And even better, you have Sir Arthur Bliss. Arthur Bliss, he of the the Color Symphony and other goodies um, with uh, music for strings. And that's really, really nice to have. I mean, Bliss was a good composer. He really was. He became, I was one of those guys who I think became master of the King's music, which means, you know, it's like the black hole of compositional non-being. Um, when you become the master of the King's music, Queen's music, well, in this case it was the Queen's music. I mean, it was even worse. So, so you know, it, it's a pity because he wrote a lot of music and some of it is really quite splendid. This little bit, this music for strings is a beautiful work, nice pungent harmonies. It's not one of those pandering things. It's not ceremonial. It's just a really beautiful, sincere piece of music. And it's very well performed here. I mean, everything here is, is quite well done. And I, I really think that Wilson ought to, ought to follow his, his, his inclinations let's put it this way, and not do big, gaudy, respighi tone poems, and instead do this stuff, do the stuff he knows, do the stuff he loves, and play it con amore, with the kind of excitement and passion that will really make these recordings distinctive. Um, so far, this, is, seems, this seems to me to be his best work on disc. It really does. And it makes me want to look forward to hearing more. Um, if he's smart enough, and Chandos has the sense, to do exactly what he really seems most inclined to do. Um, I don't think that's asking too much. Do you? Uh, you never know. We'll see what actually transpires. But in the meantime, it's a beautiful disc, an absolutely beautiful disc. So keep on listening, friends. Thank you for joining me. Take care.